Hello, Mike from the Big Blue Trunk, here to teach you how to twist balloons. A lot of people are always asking, how do you twist balloons? Is it hard? No, it's not hard. It's very easy. Uh, once you learn how to do it, it's it's simple. And the biggest, the biggest um, hurdle is getting over the fact that they're going to pop as you're twisting them every once in a while. It doesn't happen often, but it will pop. It's a balloon. Um, the other thing is, is people don't learn a technique. You need to learn a technique before you get going. Always doing it the same. Um, I can twist every single one of these balloons. I have like a, a, a range of 20 balloons I think I have. That, and I can twist every single one with my eyes closed. That's because I do the same every single time. And I use the same technique. And that technique is putting your fingertips on the top like you're play, playing a piano. Okay? Always have your hands on top. Don't don't twist it here and then and then twist and, and do all this stuff. It, it, it's confusing. Just hold it like you're playing the piano. The other thing is is you need to make sure that you leave yourself enough air in this tail for whatever you're making. Some some need less air, some need more air. Um, when I make a turtle, I, I I only need about this much of my balloon. It's not very much, so I don't need a lot of this air left. Um, I'm making a dog and usually leave a little wiggly tail on it, so I leave a little bit more. I always hold my balloons so that the that this piece here is always to my right because I'm right-handed. So I use my right hand to do a lot of the twisting. And I always twist away from me. So I bring my hand forward like this as I'm twisting. Because look how much my hand can twist versus if I try to twist it this way. My hand doesn't really twist. And so I twist it over the top and it's a lot easier that way. Um, so let me show you what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to pinch your fingers right here and you're going to twist with that right hand. You're going to twist it. What I do is I kind of hold on to it with my fingers because if I don't hold on to it with my fingers, what happens is it twists and it comes undone. So I, I get it all twisted. If I let it go, it's going gonna, it's gonna to twist back again and undo itself. So with your hands on top like a piano, you're going to pinch it, and we're doing a dog, so we don't need a huge nose, maybe about two inches. It's not very much, about my three fingers, depending on how big your hand is. And then what you're going to do is you're going to slide your left hand over so that your pinky is holding on to this part. So you're kind of holding on to this, because if you let it go, there it is. So what we do is we pinch it, we twist it, twist it away from you. Slide your hand over and get it to there. Now, once again, you're going to want to pinch it and twist it. And I'm pinching about maybe another two inches or so. Each animal is going to be different. You'll start getting used to it. Don't be so concerned about how big the bubbles are at this moment in time. Just don't make them huge, that's all. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to fold this just like this. And I'm going to hold on to it. Excuse me, I only need one hand, okay? I only need one hand to hold on to this. And then, a lot of people make this mistake. What happens is if they go to twist this, a lot of people get this happening. And they get one bubble smaller than the other. So, you don't want that. You want to try to keep these the same. The way I, I compensate for that, and, and I'm going to exaggerate here right now, is you're gonna take it and you're gonna bend it. Okay? Not that much. It's just it's really just a small little bend. Just so that this big piece bends over just a little bit. It's not a lot. Now take your right hand and pinch right in there. Like literally pinch it right in the beginning, in the middle, and then you're gonna twist with your left hand. Okay? I tend to twist double bubbles with my left hand and single bubbles with my right hand. Now what I want you to do is I want you to look at this. This is our dog right now. This is his head. Okay. Now use your imagination. This is a little difficult. Some people kind of get confused. But try to think about this right now. If you were to take this and flip it over here like this, and we'll pretend that this is a head, take a look. This is the neck, and these are legs. Okay, that's all balloon twisting for the dog is, it's just these three bubbles. 
So now we're going to do that again. Pretend that doesn't even belong there. Pretend we're just starting all over again. You're going to pinch. You're going to pinch right in there about two inches or so. And you're making one bubble there. And now you're going to slide your pinky over, keeping your fingers on the top. Again, maybe make this just a little longer here, about three inches or so. You'll have to determine that as you learn. Twist it three or four times. Every twist has to be a lot. It has to be at least three or four times. Now, we're going to take this again. It's slightly bent. You can see it's slightly bent right there. We're going to pinch with our right hand right in there. Pinch right inside there and twist it with your left hand. Let's twist it. Don't worry about it popping. If it pops, oh, no big deal. Just start all over again, okay? Now, take a look here. If you take a look right here, what did we just create? We created the head again, okay? But it's not the head. We flip it over, and it's the head and the body and the, the neck and the legs. Just three bubbles. Three for the head, three for the legs. And now we got to make our body. And the way we do this is you might have to make a wiener dog with a really long body. And that's okay. You might have to make a short little, little, short little dog body. But what you want to do is you want to try to make sure that these bubbles, about this, or maybe take my finger, or take my finger, or look at my finger here like this, about the size of my finger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say there's one finger, there's two fingers, and then I need a little bit because I'm going to need a tail. So make sure you have about your two finger width here. Pinch it. Fingers on the top like a piano. Twist it. Slide your pinky over. These are our legs, so we want to make our legs about the same size. And you can always do that by kind of folding it down here and looking at it this way. And pinch it and twist it. And now we're going to do that with fold again. There's one bubble, two bubbles, and now we're going to make our third bubble. Pinch your fingers right in there. Pinch them right in there like that. Take your two, your left hand and twist those back bubbles. And what we have here is we have a dog. It's very simple. It's just three bubbles. Nose, ears, ear. Neck, leg, leg. Long body. Two legs and the tail. Now, if you want to make it into like a little poodle tail, what you do is you go like this, you take this, you go, you pinch on here, and you pinch on here, and you go, one, two, three. Now, this is the hard part. This is, everybody has a hard time with this because you don't want to pinch this off. Okay, you don't want to squeeze that off too much, but you want to put, you want to squeeze it, and make a little hole right in there, and then with with your, these fingers here, these these three fingers and, and these fingers, you kind of give it a little squeeze like that. And you can have a little poodle dog who shakes his tail. So there's our little poodle dog. Pretty simple. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. All right. Hope to see you around. Learn and make balloons. It's a lot of fun. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, now I said I could make a dog with my eyes closed, so that's what I'm going to do. Are you ready? Here we go. Looks like he's gonna have to have a short body, I feel. There we go. And as I said, with my eyes closed, let's fix that guy up. And there we have a dog with my eyes closed. Okay, that's because I do the same thing every single time. Hands on the top, slide my hands over, twist here, twist there. And I do it the same way every time. Good luck. Take care. Bye.